Hey guys, what's up? How are you doing? In today's video, we are going to be playing with newest a Cosmos palette by Anastasia Beverly Hills. We have a beautiful, very, very duochrome, ethereal kind of palette. And these are the two eye looks that I created with the palette. So stick around if you wanted to know my thoughts on the palette, if you wanted to see how I created these two eye looks, and of course, these swatches and some comparisons. This is first time passing by MGG. I love to talk about high end and luxury makeup. If you love, Love that kind of content click down there where it says subscribe and also go to my other socials for just a little bit more beauty and without further ado let's begin my right, friends let's begin and as mentioned Anastasia's Cosmos palette this really really caught my name and attention I don't have her latest palettes so putting it out there already I do not have those to compare none of them none of them I don't know for some reason they just didn't call my name but this one certainly did I love the ethereal looks I love the mermaid looks I love a good pink and purple eyeshadow so this was just right up my alley I absolutely love it I love the packaging though it is so so pretty I love the little stars and you know you get a little bit of um, uh, texturized packaging right here these have a 12 month spare life and these are cruelty free these are made in the US it retails for 72 Canadian dollars I'll leave the US prices right there um, we are going to be jumping into the two tutorials that I created that I'm going to show you natural lighting swatches those are going to be live in natural light and then I'm, I'm just going to conclude with my final thoughts and some comparisons with you know other things that really came to mind whenever I was playing with this eyeshadow look so let's go ahead and do that before we go on I want to ask I have a little bit of a different lighting going on today let me know please let me know in the comments what do you think of this lighting do you think this is good is it good for tutorials like this for eyeshadow is it not good for other things oh I need to hear your thoughts you know I'm always wanting to bring the best for you so here we are just trying something new I hope I don't mess up my review. Anyways, I have to risk it, right? All right, we are closer. As you can see, my lighting is just a little bit cooler in tone, um, but I'm going to be inserting natural lighting swatches of this beauty um, and then you'll be able to see those are already up in my youtube anyways if you want to take a look on my short section you could totally go ahead and do that but uh, today we are going to start off with this shadow up here this is always a, a safe um you know way to start any eyeshadow with a beautiful this is space dust with a beautiful matte brown and i've played with this palette over the weekend the mattes are a little bit powder you can see that it takes it takes back quite a bit but i've said this in my reviews i don't mind shadows like that as long as they perform and they blend okay and her mattes are beautiful they do have a lot of pigment to them and they blend very very good so i always like to start all my looks with a base of brown and then we're gonna do a little bit of a darker eye and a more soft eye on this side just gonna apply just a little bit more here and i am using refers 13 which is the smallest um, brush that they carry I, I like this for a very precise you know outer v situation now I'm gonna deepen just a little bit with Comet and I'm gonna apply that right there and you can see a little or no blending is really happening here they do blend very good now I do want to go with Supernova with my MAC 242 this is a very very pretty pretty shade I love to apply this with my fingers but you saw that it applies good 
with the brush if you wet your brush you're not gonna get a messy you know application and the fallout is gonna be decreased these dual crumbs are a little bit crumbly so keep that in mind but all my base is done so I don't want fall out okay that's so beautiful look at that and then I am going to I need to apply this guy again I'm just flipping my brush and I'm gonna apply this Oh, so stunning here oh look how beautiful is that and I love I love this shade like this without a base but I'm gonna go back to supernova and just blend blend these edges right here I love that she included that deep shade dark matter because I'm gonna apply this in my lower lash um very precise with a little tiny brush and then I'm going to apply a little bit of shimmer also at top because I, I didn't want to create a, such a deep and rich look so I thought you know let me just be safe and do that in my lower lash so I'm going to, to take supernova And then I'm gonna take Orion. Look how pretty my brush, so I don't have a ton of fallout. Can you tell how Supernova is so purple in my lower lash compared to the shade that you see at top? Just because of that base really makes that color pop. So you could apply that black, it's not black, it's like a dark, deep bluish shade you can apply it all over your lid and then pack one of these ethereal shades at top and you'll be golden so so pretty now i want to go back to space dust and just blend blend these edges a little bit and i'm going actually to deepen my outer v because now i feel like my outer v just needs a little bit of a deep shade right here I'm going to go supernova again with my finger oh look your finger will really pick up the shades so so beautiful mmm loving this now so for our second look I do want to try a little bit of eclipse which this shade reminds me of the Pat McGrath um, burgundy shade that we got in her latest palette. I'm packing and just blending just a little bit because I wanted mainly my outer V. apply a little bit more oh how beautiful did you see how that blended it just glides oh so pretty okay and then I am going to take this guy with my finger hmm. oh my god look at that so pretty and then I'm gonna take my brush because I'm going to make a mess here I'm gonna take Orion which is the pink shade it looks so pretty
my god oh my god that oreo and shade is everything oh my god i hope you can i i hope this is doing it justice because oh oh i love this eye okay i'm going back to this with my brush just to marry those two shades together and then going back with a lot of the clips so we don't lose that rich outer B oh my god uh, let me blend this with my finger just a little bit okay I love it I love it. Mm -hmm. Now, of course, we need that rich shade, Eclipse, in my lower lash. And we'll do the same. We'll take our little O3 by Refer and just do the glittery pinks. Orion just to pack that like so oh wow What's this? I'm going back to supper I'm going back to sup super cluster oh <gasps> did you see that with a precise brush wet girl all right, this was fun. I just applied my Charlotte spray, like literally on my eyelids, cause this will make that just glue to your lids and you're not gonna have fallout at all. No, we are not gonna have any fallout and I'm gonna do the same on this eye. Without talking, cause I can clearly do it. If I talk, so let me go ahead and put some lashes. I'm going to try to clean up a little bit of the fallout on this side with some translucent powder. Let's see. If not, just don't do your base and do the shadows and then the base. Anyhow. All right, friends, I'm back, and as you can see, lighting got different. I don't know. Let me know. Now you can see. So I had a very cool tone during the tutorial portion, and now we have this, a little bit of a more warmer tone light. Please help, friends. Let me know. Which one do you like better? I need to know from you because there's only one of me and so many of you over there. So you guys, I'm sure will have more opinions about that. But anyways, this is our completed eye looks. And I'm obsessed with it. I mean, could you tell? I'm feeling myself. I feel like this is such a beautiful, beautiful eyeshadow palette. I love the way that she combined all these cosmics shades in one palette but i also love that she has some neutral shades in there you know like these softer browns in there if you wanted to be more natural you could totally do that over the weekend i did do it a more natural way if you will and you see me wearing the same shirt because it was only necessary for this tutorial like these i bought for the palette <laughs> 
Anyways, friends, I love it. I love, I love the way that, again, she curated the palette. I love that you got the natural shades in here. I love that you can get very deep in here. Like, this shadow is beautiful. The most beautiful sparkles in here. So, so stunning. And this is such a beautiful, like, look at that. Look. I hope you can really see it and you can see all that goodness. This has a matte base with micro glitter uh, all throughout the shade. It's absolutely stunning. I love that when you apply this very deep shade, you can apply any other holographic shade, like all the duochromes at top, and then they're just really going to pop. Like if you apply one of these, you know, um, duochromes in the lower lash, they're not going to be really appreciated unless you do the black, like unless you do like the deep. But you do have to be very careful because we did get fallout uh, with this shade. I did go fallout with, you know, these mattes were okay. Um, these was beautiful such a beautiful and rich plum shade i love shades like this because i feel like they just add dimension richness to the look without being black you know this is a beautiful gorgeous grape shade yeah it's a grape shade it's so so pretty um what else can i say when it comes to the swatches i'll show you in natural lighting i like the natural lighting swatches you can see real time and this is real time swatching you can see that i'm going once on the mats i went like up and down up and down just to throw like sort of like blend the shade the mats aren't very creamy the mats are just uh, powdery mattes, um, which again, leave it or take it. I don't know. I don't mind it as long as I am keeping the um, the color on my lids and it's not blending away. I'm okay with that. This blended, beautiful, um, but they are a little powdery. So every time your brush will hit it, kickback will be you know pushback, but. When it comes to the dual crumbs, um, they're gorgeous. You just have to be very, very careful with fallout. You, they're very soft, like they're very soft. Like look at this gum metal shade. If you're into cool tones, this is a stunning shade. I'm going to be swatching just a few of the shadows right here live for you so you can take a look at how they look. I would like to insert natural lighting swatches instead of studio lighting swatches just because sometimes these kind of lighting tend to be a little deceiving and we want to see real stuff, right? Um, so these are some of the dual chromes that we can find. Like in these the are like one and done, you know, I am um, kind of shades if you love purple, if you love pink, and if you love these like, you know, these are green uh, that we have in here. You get the gold in, um, like, here. You can get, you know, a little bit of a gold, a little bit of a green, just that holographic, beautiful. I feel like it went beautiful with that rich grape shade. This is beautiful. Um, I love both of the looks that I created, to be honest. And this is what you're gonna get with a palette like this, of course. Like if you are looking for duochromes and you know ethereal looks, you'll get it with Anastasia Cosmos. Beautiful, well done. So when it comes to some comparisons, a lot of indie brands will have beautiful ethereal shades like this. Uh, like Sydney Grace, I recently bought from her birthday girl, which I wore in another video and like you know what I mean they have all the pigment they have all the glide it is so so soft and very very metallic they do it really good and then uh because I did get questions on these ones if I would do a tutorial take me away is the pink one but I never got around to, to do a tutorial with them but I, I have been using them and you can see how metallic and gorgeous those eyeshadow do look but I don't have spot on dupes when they were like with this one let's do the two pinks so I'm gonna do Orion first and then Supernova so Orion and then Supernova so you can see that they do have that similar vibe but Sydney Grace is just more impactful it's truly a little bit more metallic and very very impactful so indie brands will do these ethereal shades 
just a little bit better if you ask me but um but they're pricey though right for like one pot of the shadow you can pay up to 20 dollars i'm speaking canadian dollars so you know if you're going to get a few shades you're gonna go well over a hundred dollars and this palette i feel like is very good for the price is very good for the quality is very very good and here you're getting both the mattes and the so thought of this complete palette by huda beauty which also gives you a little bit of those ethereal shades in here you know um you get that beautiful purple you also get this beautiful uh, pink but they're not as impactful as the ones from Anastasia so keep that in mind you you're going to get similar vibes I feel like if I do you know a little bit of side by side on my eyes I'm going to be able to get similar looks take away the greens um here you get you know that rich purple shade that I really like you also get it in the mercury retrograde i really like this purple tone in the metro in the retrograde as well uh, but you do get that soft brown just like in anastasia's cosmos and you do get that shade as well so very similar vibes let me put them beside each other so you can take so a look. here they are pretty much i'm missing in the retrograde the blue um the first blue in this one this one right here that really lends green and then this guy right the green and then this very special shade that I love galaxy but other than that the other shades do give you very very similar vibes you know if you're into the pink if you're into the purple shades these the, the retrograde is going to do um, if you already have this I don't know I don't I don't feel like you need to run and grab these but I do feel like Anastasia is just a little bit more special the shades in here are just a little bit more impactful they're very very dual chrome but having said that they do have fallout and they're very delicate so traveling with this is going to be an issue these came broken but Sephora had no issues with that they actually already shipped that red replacement which is very good I didn't even have to send this palette back out to them but these came all shattered i had to like press it back in really good and it looks good to me it was just a little bit of a mess but <laughs> you know nothing bad but that'll do for today's video friends let me know in the comments what do you think of this eyeshadow palette what do you think of the comparisons what do you think of the lighting please please let me know which lighting you'd like better cool tone or a little warmer tone I would love to hear. And as usual, this will be linked in the description box if you're interested in shopping. I do thank you in advance if you use my link. But that's it, friends. I thank you so much for watching. I love you all so much, and I'll catch you next time. Bye.